Top 10 Best Presidential Palaces in Africa Because of your curiosity or the wealth that Africa possesses, you must have been interested in learning about the most beautiful presidential palaces on the continent. In this video, we will show you some stunning buildings that harbor some of the most powerful people on the continent. Africa boasts some stunning world-class structures, even though it may not be considered one of the world's most beautiful locations to live in terms of development. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. The top 10 presidential palaces in Africa are listed here. Number 10. State House, Uganda. Looks cool, right? This is the President of the Republic of Uganda's residence. The State House of the Republic of Uganda, which ranks number 10 on our list, is one of the most stunning buildings in Africa. Although Uganda has two state houses, one in Nakasero, Kampala, and the other in Entebbe, the country also has several other state homes dispersed throughout it. The government has requested 12 billion shillings from Parliament to refurbish 23 upcountry state lodges as well as the Entebbe State House. The Entebbe State House was built in 2007 and hasn't undergone any renovations since, claims Honorable Peter Ogwang, State Minister for Economic Monitoring in the Office of the President. Number 9. The Presidential Palace, Dakar, Senegal The White House is another name for this presidential palace, just like Presidential Palace in America. No one is permitted inside because security guards won't let those in who haven't been invited. The Republic of Senegal's president resides in this masterpiece as his official residence. This elevated it to Africa's ninth most gorgeous presidential mansion. The palace was initially erected to house the Governor General of French West Africa, AOF, who was living in St. Louis, the nation's capital, and for whom it was commissioned by Gaston Daumer, who was the department's minister at the time. Henry Deglaine was the architect of it. This neoclassical structure, which took five years to build, was dedicated to the Palace of the General Government on June 28, 1907, and it was capped with a tower that was modeled after the Trocadero in Paris. High Commissioner Paul Bechtert, who occupied the space from 1947 to 1951, modernized the building. Lapold Sedar Senghor, the first president of the Republic of Senegal, moved in as the palace's official occupant on September 5, 1960, following this repair. Number 8. President Palace, Mauritania As you can see, the image exudes calmness and beauty. The president of Mauritania resides in Nouakchott at the Presidential Palace, sometimes known as the Grey Palace informally. The Presidential Palace of Mauritania, built by the Chinese, serves as the official residence and administrative headquarters of the president of that country. As stated before, this stunning building is situated in Nouakchott, the city's most prominent landmark, in the very heart of the city. Gardens with interesting trees and flower decorations surround the building. The Central Bank of Mauritania, the Lebanese International University, and the American Embassy are all nearby the palace in the region to the northwest. Number 7. Presidential Palace Sudan this is Sudan's government building, which is sometimes referred to as the President's Residence. One of Africa's most stunning palaces may be seen in Sudan, namely in Khartoum. Since Muhammad Ali Pasha was expelled from Sudan in 1821, Sudan has been governed by a Turkish colonial government, 1821 to 1885 AD, which is under the control of Egypt. At that time, a governor of Sudan by the name of Hakimadar oversaw the country. Wad Madani became the new capital replacing Fung Senar, 1504 to 1821 AD, as the previous ruler. The official offices were gradually moved from Wad Madani to Chartoum during the Gmadar Osman Bayarkas era, 1824 to 1825 AD, and Chartoum was designated as the capital for the capital administration that ruled Sudan in 1830. Number 6. Ayavahola Palace, Madagascar The Ayavahola Palace in Madagascar, one of the most beautiful presidential palaces in Africa is situated 15 kilometers south of Antananarivo, the nation's capital. Rova of Antananarivo serve as the inspiration for the palace's architectural design. It is a royal palace complex, Rova, which housed the Imarina Kingdom's kings and queens during the 17th and 18th centuries, as well as its rulers throughout the 19th century. For many years, this lovely mansion from the 19th century served as the official French residence. From 1975 to 1991, 
When President Didier Ratsuraka chose to construct a more contemporary building some 15 kilometers south of the capital, it served as the Malagasy Presidential Palace. The mansion is still a government building, but it is normally peaceful. No photographs are permitted. Andri Rajolina, President of the High Transitional Authority between 2009 and 2013, and then President from 2019, ordered that a duplicate of the King's Palace at Ambohamanga be built exactly next to the Presidential Palace to counteract the colonial architectural impact. Number 5. The Flagstaff House, Ghana One of the best nations in Africa, Ghana is renowned for its rich culture, warm hospitality, and many other attributes. The nation is also among the most well-liked in all of Africa, and by simply gazing at the Ghana Flagstaff Presidential Palace, you can see that Ghana has an appreciation for fine architecture, commonly referred to as Jubilee House or the Golden Jubilee House. The current president of Ghana resides here and is the official resident. The Golden Jubilee House is located in Accra, Ghana's capital. The Flagstaff House was rebuilt and given the name Golden Jubilee House by the John A. G. Kum Kufour administration in November 2008, when construction was roughly 70% 80% complete. President John Atta Mills' new administration relocated the White House to Osu Castle in January 2009 and later changed the building's name on the sign outside, saying that the previous administration had violated the law by not using a legislative instrument to make the change. Number 4. State House of Namibia The State House of the Republic of Namibia, which serves as the President's official residence and office, is regarded as one of Africa's most beautiful presidential palaces. Mansude Overseas Projects, a North Korean enterprise, developed the State House, which was constructed in 66 months. San Nujoma, the first president of Namibia, ordered the construction of the new structure to begin in September 2002, replacing the previous State House in the inner city because the offices in the former building and the woefully insufficient parking were too small. The construction's price ranged from 413 0.2 million to 600 million Namibian dollars, according to unofficial estimates. The project involved 40 Namibian suppliers and subcontractors. There were 100 more Namibians working on the project. Number 3. Union Buildings, South Africa The most well-known and economically prosperous nation in Africa is South Africa. One of the country's capital towns, Pretoria, is home to the Union Buildings one of South Africa's most stunning presidential residences in all of Africa. The South African government's offices and the president's office are both housed in this majestic structure. One of the top tourist destinations in the nation, the structure is made up of various groupings of buildings that hold South African monuments and gardens. Number 2. Abdeen Palace, Cairo, Egypt Egypt is a well-known nation, not just in Africa, but also throughout the world since it is replete with several historical sites. The second most gorgeous presidential palace in Africa is that of Egypt. The official residence of the President of Egypt is the Abdeen Palace, which is situated in Cairo, the nation's capital. This palace is considered to be one of the most expensive-looking palaces in the world with cool artwork, and it is clear by just looking at it how much money is spent to maintain this edifice standing. The parlor wings of the villa are surrounded by numerous clocks that are all embellished with pure gold throughout the palace. The palace is situated on Kasser El Nil Street in the heart of Cairo. The palace was formally inaugurated in 1874 after 10 years of building that began in 1863. The palace was built on a plot of land measuring 24 fedans, and it was designed by the French architect Lan Rousseau with assistance from numerous Egyptian, Italian, French, and other European decorators. Joseph Urban constructed a new wing in 1891. But Sultan Fuad the first built the palace's garden in 1921, expanding it by 20 fedans. The palace's construction cost was 700,000 pounds, plus another 2 million pounds for furnishings. Number 1. Unity Palace Cameroon Towering pillars give the Unity Palace, which is considered the most beautiful presidential residence in Africa, a pleasing appearance. As the most magnificent palace in Africa, the Cameroon Presidential Palace took the top rank. The President of Cameroon resides in Unity Palace as his official residence. It is situated in a tranquil setting and is surrounded by lush foliage in Yaoundé's erosion district. The Unity Palace was built at the initiative of Amadou Ahidjo, 
who served as Cameroon's first president from the country's independence in 1960 until his resignation in 1982. President Paul Biya presently resides in this building, which was built with public funds of 200 billion francs CFA. In 1980, work on the Unity Palace officially began, and in August 1982, the late President Ahijo gave the structure its official opening. There you have it, Displorers, top 10 best presidential palaces in Africa. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend.